Hi everyone. I hope you guys are well. I hope everyone's doing well. So how has your week been? How has everyone's week been? Mine has been, mine's been fairly good. Fairly, fairly good. Fairly good, fairly good. So, you guys tell me what's going on with you. I always love hearing what's going on with you guys. Always, always, always. Well, um, last week in the live stream, we talked about um, doing wrapping paper. So I thought maybe we would do work on that today. Hi, Vicky. It's still painful. You know, I just got to live with it for right now. It's not good, but, you know, I found out I have a pinched nerve, so it's a whole ridiculousness. You know me, I can't do, I, I got to do ridiculous. Hi, Beth. You're painting a Christmas angel? Oh, I'd love to see it. Hi, Julianne. You spent Monday arting all day? That's awesome. Hi, Jan. So, oh, Julianne, that's awesome. You guys, I think FedEx is going to come knock on my door. I'm sorry, guys. This is like, this is my life, you guys. This is my life. So, if you guys want to paint along, just get some paper and some sponges. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Just give me one second. Thank you. Good day. So I'm sorry, guys. At least the dog's not barking. The dog is in the back. And so, hi. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Arlena. Hi, Trace. Oh, Lurkway. So, I don't know who is it I was talking about that to last week when we talked about making wrapping paper. So, I went to the big box store here. You used to be able to buy the equivalent of this. This is like newsprint paper and it comes in a pad and it's quite large. Too big to fit in my space. I've doubled it over. Um, I used to be able to buy a roll of it. And if you guys can, hi, Linda. Hi, Joyce. And if you can get, hi, Scotty. Everybody send Pat love. We love you, Pat. Sending you big love, Pat. Um, so if any of you have access to um, this newsprint, this newsprint, go buy a roll of it. It's really cheap. It's also equivalent to packing paper. Um, I don't know. This might be actually thinner than, I don't know if it's thinner or thicker than packing paper, but you can use it too. Everybody's saying hi, Pat. Scotty's saying hi. Jan's saying hi. Diana's saying hi. Joyce is saying hi. Liz is saying hi. Hi, Liz. How are you feeling? Arlena's saying hi. And Elizabeth's saying hi. And Brenda's sending you a big love. And Linda, Linda says, Pat asked her to say hello to everybody. We love you, Pat. We really do. Hey, Nancy. Anyway. So I'm going to make a little bit of wrapping paper. So for me, you guys, if you buy this newsprint, you can buy an enormous roll. And when I used to make a lot of wrapping paper with my older daughter, who's like now in her mid-20s, right? Beth is giving you big love, too, and so is Tracy. Tracy's saying, hi, Pat. Hey, Susan. So I'll show you what I used to do with my daughter. And you guys, so this is like painter's tape. The thing is, is that it will pull the paper up. So what you do is you take it and you put it on your piece of, you put it on a piece of your jeans or your shirt, and you, you take some of the sticky off, then you lay it down. And I'm just going to do a small piece. So when you buy this roll of um, news, newsprint, it comes real, yeah, Cassandra's saying some newspaper companies will even give you the ends. I think it's great. 
Well, you can buy, hey Pam, you can get a big enormous roll. And I want to say you can get one like this, even like two or three feet wide or even larger, longer. And it's really inexpensive. That's what I made my wrapping paper out of. So this is the closest thing, you know, I just assume because, because I haven't bought new print in a really long time. And I just assume because you could usually just buy it at a big box store that you can do that here, but it doesn't really work that way. So anyway, then I used to make, especially when you're working with kids, I used to make, could use kitchen sponges. Hi, Lori. All you lurkers out there say, hey. I use kitchen sponges and you can draw designs on it. What I used to do, and I tried to get my daughter to draw something today, but she was not into it. Today was our, we had a holiday concert and that was like a little bit stressful for her. And <laughs> she, but in the end, she had a good time. So anyway, so you just take your, what you draw your design. What I would do with my kids is sometimes I would, um, and you can buy bigger, wider sponges than this kitchen sponge that I have. Okay. You can buy them. Um, go to a, go to a kitchen supply store or a janitorial store and you can buy like big ones and you know, and you, you can use anything, but this is what somebody was asking me how I used to make wrapping paper. So this was, I'm giving you guys the, the shortened version of it. Now know that you can use anything. You don't have to have a kitchen sponge, but what's cool about a kitchen sponge is you can cut it with a pair of scissors. And I'm sure you guys have a dollar store there. You probably can get two kitchen sponges for a dollar or even cheaper if you look around. They don't have to be the best quality. Um, you know, so I'm just giving you guys, this is how I used to make wrapping paper with my kids. Now, you know, I've used really inexpensive temper paint on them as well. The only thing with temper paint is it will, it can um, flake. So, so anyway, this is my 411 on how to, hi Kate. Hi Kate, how are you? Hi Kathy. Hi Tammy. So this is just really cheap acrylic paint and you know, sometimes if you go to the, um, like big box store, you can even get, um, cheap, you can get cheap, oops, paint, and then I would water it down. Do you want to get a water-based paint? Um, sometimes I would just get a, a thing of really inexpensive, oops, paint, house paint, interior paint, it doesn't really matter. And that just has to be water soluble though. And then water it down and I would do this as well. But sometimes you can get some cool stuff, you know, like colors you wouldn't necessarily use and a roll of painter's tape to make if you want to make stripes. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of what I used to make wrapping paper. Because I make it now, but I make it out of brown bags. But I know many of you guys don't have brown bags, which I find odd, but... You know, I don't even know why. Like, we don't have a lot of things here. Like, you can't get many things here. But you can get brown bags. Okay. So, if you wanted to make it striped. Now, now with all these kind of crazy big background stamps and stuff like that, you could use all that, too. And I'll show you. I just peel it up and move it down, you know? leave this one leave the end one but I just wanted to show you how easy it fills up okay so peel it up move it down so if you want wrapping paper that's gonna fit over like very large presents go and look for the big roll of newsprint okay if you can find it, it's not, it's not going to be expensive. I want to say like, I bought one, one year because this is years ago though. I bought one, one year and probably I spent $30 on it, but it lasted me like three years because it's huge. Like they come in enormous rolls, but like 
Cassandra said, you know, go to a local newspaper if you have one near you and ask for their end rolls. They often will donate them, especially if you volunteer any of your time doing crafts with kids or seniors or stuff like that. They'll donate it to you for your, for your, for your crafting. So I'm just giving you guys the shortened version because my table's not that big. But you know what it did make me think about? Because I've been doing some, what have you guys been making? I've been making, been still working on my Secret Santa Sister thing. I haven't quite finished it. I'm almost done. And I'm working on my Christmas cards. And thank you guys for everybody who sent me Christmas cards. I was going to show them all, but they're all in the other room. And so I'll show them on Friday. I got, I've gotten some really nice ones. And thank you guys. And I haven't even mailed mine out. So when you guys get your Christmas cards for me, please don't be disappointed. I'm going to give you something I've made. I did go I did go and buy some Christmas cards I did. Because we have some kind of cool Hawaiian ones here. I did go and buy some, but not a ton of them. I went back actually to see if I could get more and they were gone. You know, they say Mele Kalikimaka, which is Merry Christmas in Hawaiian. So, if I send you a store-bought Christmas card, I'll try to put something handmade in it. Um, you know, so. And it's not too late to sign up. Just know that you don't have to send to everybody on the list. You know, but you can if you want. So this is how I make wrap. This is how I used to make wrapping paper with my girl, and I lay it on the floor. I did all of this on the floor. You guys, that was back when arting on the floor it wasn't a big deal. But now with my shoulder, forget it. I couldn't. If I I sat down on the floor to cut out a sewing pattern yesterday. And you guys, I was in so much pain. It was really difficult to get back up, like to push myself up from the floor. I was like, ah, you know, it was super painful. But you guys kind of get the idea, right? Like paint in your you could also use this as a technique for your painting papers if you want to paint big. And I'm doing more of a dry brush, you know, like using this really stiff brush and because this paper's so thin. As I remember one year, like my oldest daughter was into Japanese, like she loves Japanese writing and oh my gosh one year we like learned all these you know when your kids are young and you know they take an interest in something and so you just try to foster that interest so I learned how to write a few Japanese symbols that year and that was our, our Christmas paper that year had Japanese symbols on it so you get the idea it doesn't have to be perfect right it does not have to be perfect and you guys, I never, ever, I, I don't say never, but I hardly ever did Christmas colors, you know. It, you can get a big bottle of pearlescent paint from a big box store and use it for, like, um, you know, use it for sparkle if you want. And you can glitter with this, too, if you wanted to put some, some glitter. I'm just trying to decide what color I'm going to use. I've got those neon colors, and I'm kind of into them. So, hi, Fee! Hi, Vic! So, have you guys had a good week? You guys, last week, I feel like I've, like, lost a week or something. I don't know where I've been, but I feel like I've, like, like lost a few days here and there. Where's my credit card? Guys, this is what I get. I work in such a small space. If you guys could see how big this space is, it's like ridiculous. It's not big at all. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the paint directly onto the sponge or the credit card, because I think if I swap it up, it's gonna get really, and I don't want, um, I don't want it to be like, you guys saw my mess you'd be like what I do I'm, I am gonna um, I am going to work on my mm, definitely needs more paint I am gonna work on my get my craft room back together and like really work on it but I just haven't because I haven't had the energy and I haven't felt like it is that terrible I have not had the energy you guys kind of get the idea. Need more paint than I've put on my sponge. 
Yeah, I need to water down my paint a little bit. It's a little thick. Let me find a brush. Anyway, so you guys get the idea, right? So one year we did cats. One year we did, um, I don't know. If I find some pictures of it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Most of the pictures would be because it would have been under my my former mother-in-law's Christmas tree, and she was one of these people that, like, you know, she really went all out on the Christmas tree thing. You know, like, her Christmas tree was, like, magical. But you guys get the idea, right? This was how I did my wrapping paper. And, and I did it with my kids, and they really enjoyed it. You know, they thought it was super fun. In fact, I think my older daughter thought everybody made their wrapping paper until she got much older and then she realized she could buy it she was like <laughs> she was like what were we doing why were we doing all that that was so much work <laughs> do you guys love it kids that was so much work why were we doing it but you guys get it right when you're and yellow was her favorite color so many years our wrapping paper was yellow because that was her favorite color If you have small kids or grandkids, this is really fun, you know? So I'm making some handbags. I'm going to show them to you guys. I just haven't been feeling so great, or I would have uh, posted them already. So I have them on the floor. Hi, Rabbit! So I had them on the floor making, um, cutting out pattern, because it's quite a large handbag. And it was... It was ridiculous. So you guys kind of get the idea, right? But imagine if you were doing this in big, big, big strips. And then if you wanted to go back and outline things like using your kids' markers, you know, you could go back and, and outline Painty papers, but at like a like a lesser level. One thing I will tell you: if you guys use temper paint, use it. Don't use it thick. Use it super thin, because it will definitely um, flake off if you get too much on there. So. So I can hear somebody's thoughts for saying, well, that's just way too much work. It is and it isn't. You know, it depends upon, like, you know, if you spend, like I did, whatever, $30 on an enormous roll of butcher paper. But if you do art all the time, it's not really, you know, on newsprint. And it lasts you several years. And you would like to do painty papers, but you, know, you guys get the idea. You don't want to use a sharpie marker on this, though. These are just this is just like a Crayola, kind of like these. These are my daughter's. All these Crayola metallic markers. This one's called Gold Ingot. They come in all different colors. But see, look, here's the under, underneath side of it, and it doesn't bleed through. So, so that would be one piece of my wrapping paper. <laughs> Thanks, B. Um, Cat, it is where I am four in the afternoon. You sent Nana your entry. Awesome, awesome. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Looks like fun to you, Cindy. If you guys haven't checked out Cindy, go check her out. She has an awesome YouTube channel. So, I don't, who was it last week that was asking me about? Handmade wrapping paper. So there you go. This is my exciting rendition of hand handmade wrapping paper. And if my space was bigger, if you guys want to go have studio envy, go over and look at Cindy's studio. She's got a beautiful studio. You have a beautiful studio, Cindy. 
Cindy has a beautiful studio, and she's an amazing artist herself. So I don't know what I'm going to do on this side. So who was it last week that asked for wrapping paper? Because I know you guys were like, who was it? I don't know. I don't remember who it was. You liked it, Carrie? Cindy did it. Cindy, you rock. Yeah, well, here's here's my one piece, and maybe I'll do something on the other side. But can you imagine if you do, if you buy a roll of newsprint, in fact, you know what? We have a newspaper here. I'll call them next week or whatever and find out how much a roll of newsprint is. I honestly thought, you guys, okay, do you guys know those those um, art kits that you can get? They're like, um, they're usually made by, oh my gosh, who's the, it's like super cheap. It's like a super cheap art kit. It's, um... Oh my gosh. You know what I'm talking about? Like the they make they make off brand crayons and everything. Well it's their brand, but anyway, they usually have a roll. I have seen it. I know I have because I've bought it as gifts. Um I bought it as gifts. You can usually get a roll of you can usually get a roll of um Of cheap. I don't know what I'm gonna do on this side. I think I'm gonna do stripes. What do I want to do? Maybe I won't do stripes, or maybe I will. I'll do one more set of stripes and do something else on the side. Um, rose art. Yes, Cassandra. Usually you can buy a cheap rose art kit, rose art art kit, and it will come with a roll of paper. I know I've bought them for kids, and most of the time that's the reason I'm buying it is for the paper. And you guys, you know where I live? They don't have any. Can I tell you? It's it, nothing makes you more discouraged. Like when you go to, when you go to just buy what you could buy just anywhere, and you go here, and they don't like. It's like, first of all, even if you ask for it, nobody would have it. And second of all, like it's not gonna happen. So you just gotta, you just gotta go with it, you know. So yeah, yeah, a rose art art kit. Yep. So. So I'm making these handbags, okay? When you see them, I hope you guys don't laugh, okay? I was making them out of upholstery samples, but can I tell you, have you guys ever taken apart upholstery samples that you can, has anybody gotten an upholstery sample book? Like one of those big upholstery sample books? Well, you guys know my upholstery sample story, and if you don't, I'll tell you a brief you know, ridiculousness. This just is indicative of my life and how it works. So, you know, for those of you that are new, I live in the Hawaiian Islands. I live on the island of Maui. And most of the artwork that I make is recycled because where I live, let's just face it, when you live on an island, you become really hyper aware of, you know, things that end up in a landfill and that sort of thing. Anyway, so... I don't know. I wanted some upholstery samples. I wanted some upholstery sample fabric, you know? And I had been talking to, because back in the mainland, I used to have like a big, huge art space and I collected all kinds of old textiles. Well, when I moved here, I didn't bring any of that with me. Everything cost a fortune to ship it. So, you know, never in my wildest, and not that I would have shipped it all, but maybe I would have brought a little bit more of it than I did, which was, z I brought zero, okay? Um, so I wanted these upholstery samples, so I went to, anyway, I went to the local carpeting store here, like, you know, places that sell sort of high-end carpet, and I said, you know, and they go, oh, no, we don't do upholstery samples. Anyway, to make a very long story short, one day, I'm always scouring on Craigslist in the free section, and one day I saw, like, a, an ad, and it had just, like, I don't know, maybe 10 upholstery books in the ad, and it said, you know, upholstery sample books, free, looking for an artist, whatever. So I was like, cool. So I called the lady and I gave her a phone number and I called her and she actually answered. I don't know if you guys have better Craigslist store things than I do, but most of the time I find people really flake out, you know, on Craigslist, at least here. Like you call a million times and whatever. Anyway, so... She actually answered the phone and she was like, oh no. She goes, you, and it did say on there, you know, you must take it all, right? So she said, you saw the, and she said, you don't have a problem taking it all. I said, no. 
Because I'm assuming she means like the ten books in the page, right? And then in the in the picture. Now she didn't say anything else than that. And so I go and I get I go and I and I pick up my daughter from school and I go drive and it's not anywhere near where I live and I go and I get the um go to the place where it is and it's kind of hard to find so I finally I get there and everything you guys so I see you know like I walk in it's like a little interior design studio and I walk in and it's cool and I'm like oh cool you know and so maybe I'll just go ahead and do green stars since I have that one and the next one I'll do something else so so the next one I go I mean so I go and you know she's like oh here let me help you and I'm like oh no problem because I have like a small little Toyota RAV4 like not a big car but you know it's like a kind of like an SUV a little bit right and it seems a little water anyway so you know I I go and I go no problem she goes no let me help you you guys I go out to the car by the time I go out to the car and come back in more books have appeared and then more books and more books you guys I probably it was something like I don't know 100 upholstery books put it this way it it was so many that I had to put down the seat in the back of my car and um, I had to put the seat down in the back of my car to get them on. And then I had to come home, okay? <laughs> and, and my older daughter, the one I told you guys that's living, that lives in China now, the one that's married, she was like, I called her up and I go, are you guys home? Because she's, or no, she called me. She goes, can I use your car? We want to do something. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I said, but you got to help me unload it. She's like, no problem. And I'm like, no, wait till you see what it is. She's like, what do you mean what it is? And I go, well, I went to get upholstery sample books. And she goes, no problem. And they go, no, seriously, you guys. So anyway, I have more upholstery sample books than I will ever use in a lifetime. I guess the good thing is, and I've given a ton away. The problem is they're so heavy, you can't really ship it anywhere. Because it's really, they're ridiculously heavy. Now... I love fabric. I used to be a, one of my momentary incarnations. I was a costume designer, so I love textiles and fabric, and I love sewing and all that stuff. So anyway, fast forward to my purse, to the purse thing, okay? So I decided that my daughter that will be 20 soon, the one I told you guys that she's in college, We always make each other something for Christmas. And she'd seen this handbag, and she's really into fashion. Guys, I'm not so into fashion. Maybe I was more in my youth, but I'm definitely not now. You live in an island. You really don't need much, you know? I have no winter clothes or anything like that. So when I did my little traveling a couple of weeks ago, that was ridiculous. So anyway, I found this cool bag that I think she'll really love. So I was going to make it out of those upholstery samples. That was my first idea. Well, they have these gummed labels on the back. You guys, can I tell you, since I threw my shoulder out, first of all, getting the books apart is like, it's like a feat. And then I think they also, like, I think they must put, like, extra sizing on it. Like, I think they must, like, you know, because it's a sample book and I guess they figure everybody's going to be touching it or whatever. You know, they put, like, extra sizing on it. So after, like, hours of trying to pull the labels off. And some of these fabrics, I mean, they're expensive fabrics that, you know, some of them are. But they're not washable, so it's not like you can take the labels off and wash them. They're all, like, mostly dry cleanable and that sort of stuff. And first of all, they're not big, you know? Like, some of them are big and some of them, they're all different sizes. Anyway, 
after like hours of trying to peel all the labels off, I was just like, forget it. So then today I decided, so that was, first of all, I made the bag out of um, like a drop cloth, like the pattern out of a drop cloth. Hi, Stacy! Oh, everybody say hi to Stacy! Wow, I feel so special, you guys. I have Stacy and Cindy and all my peeps. Aw, if you guys haven't gone over and joined her, I'm I've, I'm a subscriber to both Cindy and Stacy. Um, if you haven't gone over, go and join her. Pink Poodle Crafts will love her. I love, I love crafting along with her. She's very inspirational and fun, fun, fun. Guys, all right, so here's my wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper page number one. And that's not perfect, but you get the idea. And Cage Fish is here too. Oh, I love Carla too. You guys, I, today I was at my, the concert, the choir concert. I didn't go. So this is wrapping paper page number one. So you guys get the idea. Like, don't feel like shy with your wrapping paper. Go for it and like, um, you can make your wrapping paper out of whatever you have. You know? You, I, oh, I love you, Stacy, And I love Secret. Did anybody go over and watch Secrets? Her, I want to make those, those now. You know, the only bad thing, okay, girls, I'm like on a no spending thing, okay? So when I see you guys get something really cool, then I need to have it. So Secret is making these like clay things, and I'm like, oh, now I need that air dry clay. And it's like, you know, but I'm not buying. I'm going to put it on my Santa wish list. So you guys get the idea, right? So don't stress out and use, I mean, make your wrapping paper out of whatever you have. You saw mine. It's out of Deco Arts. This one's Deco Arts Satin. Oh, guys, it's dark in here. My light's not on. This is crazy. I'm sorry. Anyway, Deco Arts, the neon that I'm in love with. And then this is a red one. This one I got on clearance. You guys, I buy every kind of paint. So this one says it's it's by plaid and it says leather and vinyl paint. You guys I'm painting on paper with it. I buy every kind of paint, especially when it's on sale here, because everything's really expensive here. So the paint said it was $3.99, but it was $3.99, 90% off. So I paid like 40 cents for the bottle. So I'll try anything. Hi Miss Aussie Mom. Hi Amanda. So this is wrapping paper number one. Now, so, Stacey, your new craft room looks amazing. You guys go over and check out Stacey's new craft room. Okay, guys, now I feel, you guys, my craft room is nothing, really, honestly. My craft room is, like, so nothing. My space is so small, but I live in the tropics, right? So I'm only folding it in half so it fits on my desk, you guys. If I live in the tropics, right? That's what somebody's going to say. I can just hear it now. And you guys is going to say, yeah, but you live in the tropics and I do live in the tropics and I love that but so that's how I make wrapping paper you guys make it your way you know I made some cool stencils where did I put them you guys I'm making my secret sister stuff and I, I think like half the stuff that I have I'm putting in there like do you guys do that like you're making something and then you're like oh I'm just gonna put that in there and if you guys haven't joined me, join me in a tag, my Tag A Day series. That's fun. Just making small art. All right. I don't know where my stencil is. I guess I'm going to have to make a new one. Okay. Guys, my arm sucks. It is, like, really burning today. And I did not, I don't have any, I don't have any, as my daughter calls it, any ibuprofen. Any ibuprofen. And I'm telling you, hurting yourself is, like, ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to use a cornflakes lid and make myself a stencil. I'm happy you guys are here. You're enjoying my tag a day. Well, I've made some cool ones. I, I'm kind of excited. You know what? When I decided I was going to do it, it was because I was kind of in a, I was kind of going through a bummer, you guys. I was like, you know, I'm not getting all the art that I want to make every day made. And... 
so because I wasn't having an opportunity to art every day, I was like, okay, how can I put myself in a situation or in a space so that I art every day? So that was kind of why I did it. But at the time when I was thinking about it, of course, this was like, you guys, I was thinking about doing it like back in October, but you guys know all my ridiculousness. Now that the ridiculousness is over, there's no excuses, right? So back in October, I wasn't thinking about Christmas tags. So some of you guys that signed up over in Crafting Mamas for your, for the, um, for the Christmas swap, I'm going to send tags, I think, because I'm making so many of them, and I'll show you some of them. And for those of you that are new, I mostly make things out of recycled stuff, although I do buy paint, okay? So I mostly make my artwork out of recycled bits and pieces, and I have nothing against new things. It's just, it's just where I am, you guys. You know, everybody's got their own thing, right? So mine right now is recycled art. Well, it has been for a long time, but I'm a little bit more into the recycled art thing right now. So, anyway, that's what's going on with me, friends. That is what is going on with me. I don't even have my jelly plate out. Where's my jelly plate, girls, when I need it? I don't have it. It's okay. I just need to rub, roll off some of this because it'll be too thick for this, for this paper. Anyway, so that's what's going on with me, you guys. Tell me about you guys. I want to hear what's going on in your world. I'm so boring. I have such a boring life compared to you guys. You guys always are like doing fun things and I'm like, I don't know. You guys, you guys are always doing like super fun stuff and I'm like, I'm hanging out, okay? Hanging out in the tropics, making my painty papers. I loved your tree that you made Stace, your one, your one that was like the naturally looking one, the, I don't know, your twiggy bark one. I loved it. I think you said you sold it already. I thought it was excellent. Loved it. You guys have fun making your own wrapping paper, you know? No rules. Make your wrapping paper and have fun. No rules. You know me. No rules for me. Guys, I was not a kid that could ever color in between the lines. So, how many of you guys signed up for the woo-woo? I had, yesterday there were 60. I didn't check today because I did it so early in the morning this morning for me. But yesterday there were 63 people in the woo-woo. So, you guys still have 25 more days. And today, you can still listen to today's woo woo the replay is up for two days and you just go to bodysoulalignment.com and just put your email there and you will get a link and you can listen to today's woo woo today's woo woo is about unconditional love and you know i can't unfortunately i can't see who's on there i only can see the name like the the numbers but I just know there were 63 of you there, and I'm grateful. So if you guys want to take advantage of it, please do. My gift to you, so you're not so stressed out, and you can you know, enjoy the holidays a little bit um, with a little bit more ease and more fun, more joy. Yeah, More ease, fun, and joy. Ease, fun, and joy. Okay, now I'm going to stamp them. The only bad thing about using your cornflakes boxes is you should cover them with something like a masking tape or a I mean not masking tape, a clear packing tape or something like that so that you can so that you can I don't even have a roll off book. You guys today's not my day. I don't have any roll off pages. So I'll use these roll off pages. How many of you guys did the texture paste with me? It was super fun. Um, I woo-wooed you into an abyss today. Oh, that's so good. Today was about unconditional love. I woo-wooed, you know what? I woo-wooed Hottie yesterday. <laughs> you guys, it was his day off and he never gets to listen. So he was like, he was, I don't know, did he, I don't know if he, he must have been there live and he listened live and 
guys, he couldn't function. He told me I wooed him into like bliss and he couldn't do anything. So, um, the woo woo today, like on Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm doing it. I think it turns out to be like noon, um, noon, your time, noon, noon, Eastern time. Okay. You guys living in the tropics, my time zone doesn't work with anyone. Okay. Can I tell you, it doesn't work with anyone. So, um, I guess it was today. It was like at noon. Today was noon your time, and then, but there's a replay, so you can always come back and listen to the replay. So tell me what you got, and you guys, it's my gift to you. You know, it's like the holiday stress is all out. I mean, maybe if you're one of the few that you don't get stressed out, that's awesome. But I do. I get stressed out. I get stressed out. Guys, I almost had a heart attack. Hottie's mom called me. And she said they were coming, and I thought, for Christmas, oh, no. But no, they're not going to come until spring. So that I can deal with. The Christmas thing, I was like, you guys, I, I, I am. Like, I don't. You guys, for years, I did the huge, big, everything, everyone, Christmas. I don't feel like it anymore. And I love Christmas, don't get me wrong, but I just don't. You know, feel like cooking mass quantities of food and waiting on people hand and foot. You did it yesterday, Liz. How are you feeling, Liz? What's going on with you, Mama? We're happy to see you. We're so happy to see you. What is on your crafty wish list? Did anybody, has anybody besides me made my major crafty wish list? Okay, do you guys see how random my wrapping paper is? Oh, you're, the sound was messed up when you listened to it live, but the recording was fine? Oh, well, that's good, Clara. You know, it's like, I don't have anything. I can't do anything about it. Hi, Samantha. Oh, you're much better, Liz. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Miss Scotty Waddy. How are you? Um, you know, it is draining doing the cooking. I think for me, even more so than doing the cooking, it's like hosting all those people. You guys, when people come to visit me, they're on vacation. I'm not on vacation, you know? And so when his mom kind of like, when she was like, oh, I think we're going to come, my heart sank. Of course, I didn't say anything to her. I was like, oh, okay, but my heart sank, but I was actually really glad, you guys, because quite frankly, I'm not, I don't know. I think this is like, we only have one kid at Christmas this year, so in all honesty, it's going to, I think, feel a little bit more like a vacation than it normally does for us. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It's going to feel like more of a vacation than it normally does for us. Um, anyway. Hi, Malia. I'm happy to see you. All right, all you lurkers, say hey. Say hey. All you lurky lurkers. So, who is it that asked for this wrapping paper? What, remember last week we were talking about making stuff or whatever with the tags and, and all that? Who is it that wanted it? Because I want them to be here because I do listen to what you guys say. I'm sure my wrapping paper is not exactly what you had in mind. You probably thought it was going to be like some traditional, like whatever, right? Pat, Kathy's saying hi, Pat. Hey, you're, you're making messy maps and envelopes out of them? Awesome. You know what? I have to say, that's the one thing I loved about living in New York City. Can I just tell you guys, they have the best subway maps. I mean, I used to get subway and bus maps in New York City all the time, and I used it as wrapping paper all the time. 
especially if I was mailing the stuff out to other places, you know, where people don't have where people don't where people don't so if you guys haven't joined the woo-woo, and you know what, you guys can share it with anyone. It's for anyone that you think that might want a little boost during the holidays, okay? Share it with anyone. No right or wrong. Share the woo-woo. It's for everyone. Yeah. I had somebody from a, a friend, well, I have a, a friend in Lebanon right now. She's been in Lebanon for, she's working for the UN in Lebanon. And she happened to see it on my Facebook page, and she was like, I did the woo-woo. <laughs> I was like, awesome. And then I had somebody from the Maldives that did it that I don't know. So that must have been somebody that either came through YouTube or one of you guys shared the link. But she wrote me a really sweet email. So tell me, you know, like, at, tell me the effects of what it does for you after you work, after you do it. Because for everybody, it's going to be a little different. going to be a little different. So night Jillian. Hi CJ. Hi Trish. Hi Miss Aussie Mom. How are you? How are you, Miss CJ? What is new in your world? All right, that's one side. Now, if I, well, I have left a space of here. Now, if I had some glitter pins, which I do, I think one of my kids has some gel, those glitter gel pins, I would definitely go back and doodle on it. Okay. You guys, the re I want to talk about the tag thing for a minute. You know, the reason I made the tag specifically this time rectangular and not like some fancy cut tag is so everybody can do it. You don't need, you can make your own template, you guys. It's a rectangle with two ends cut off. And it is, okay, this is wrapping paper number two. I guess I could need to let it dry for a few seconds and then paint on the other side. You have to find the woo-woo. <laughs> of CJ, I want one of those paper lovers books. But, in fact, I may ask my sister to buy me that for Christmas. She always wants to buy me something, and I always, like, say no. Because I am, like, calamari as you all know. Um, if you go to Body Soul Alignment... I think there's a link. I'll, I'll try to put a link in this video at the end too. Bodysoulalignment.com and it'll ask you for your name. It asks you for your name, your first name, and your email. Hi, Janine. It asks you for your first name and your email and your country. Hi, Kat. Your first name, email, and country. Because the reason I, you need an email because I can't send you a link without it. And you can't do it without putting a name in. So you need a name. I didn't ask for your last name. You're not going to do anything with your list. It just goes to the conference call. And... Oh, Fee, we love you. Oh, we love you, love you, love you. I hope you feel better. And congratulations, Fee, and I'm so happy you're back. All right, so this is wrapping paper number two. Um, it definitely needs to dry just a little bit more, and then I'll flip it over and do the other side. Um, and then it, I asked for the country, because if I know that a lot of people are tuning in from, like, Australia or from another time zone, I'll try to work with that. Everybody's sending you love and, love and hugs, Fiona. Everyone is sending you love and hugs. Love, love, love and hugs. Um, 
I'm glad you finally got on Facebook, Samantha. We're happy to see you on there. Okay, so this is wrapping paper number two. And I know this might be a little out there for you guys, but think about it. Wrapped around uh, a, um, a package. Night, Fee. We love you. We all love you. We're sending you lots of love, and we'll put you in the woo-woo. So for those of you that want to do the woo-woo, we're going to do, we'll do it at the end of this, a little few minutes at the end of this, but I've been doing, offering 30 days of free energy work. And if you go to bodysoulalignment.com, and this is for the month of December, and for those that are watching in the future, it's December 2017. <laughs> um, and, you know, I guarantee you it will definitely make you feel better. It definitely will make you feel better. You guys, this is not braying brayering well because my surface is not flat. You need a flat surface. Maybe I can scrape the paint with a credit card. Because I'm missing I'm missing my favorite, I don't know where I put it. The other day I was painting with my daughter, my little one, we we're painting on the floor and I do not know. I'm wondering if my favorite Starbucks card got thrown out because I cleaned up, I swept everything up and it could have very well just gone by the wayside. So anyway, the brayer kind of sucks right now. The, it's not my favorite prayer either. I have a really good one, and this one's kind of not the good one. The good one, I loaned it to my daughter, and she didn't bring it back. So. You guys, sometimes the chat goes really fast, and I miss it. If you guys want to ask me something, ask me in all caps, because I don't... Not I'm, tr I'm so not trying to ignore anyone, but I don't see everything. And I don't see everything. And sometimes also the chat, uh, the chat froze for me. How long have I lived in the Hawaiian Islands? I've lived here about nine years, Cindy. Off and on for a long time, but then full-time nine years. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place to live. But you know what? You don't have the same amenities that you have. It's like it's a little third world with a Four Seasons Hotel. Does that make sense? Does that make so? Does that so make sense? And and like people are always like, oh yeah. But, you know, you don't even think about it or even know it until you live here, like, what you don't have. Does that make sense? Does anybody, can anybody else, like, chime in there? Has anybody else, one of you guys has, like, lived in Guam or something. Which one of you guys lived in Guam? I don't remember, but one of you guys was like, I lived in Guam. It's exactly like that. For those of you who've lived in Guam or lived, like, somebody, who is it that lived in, the, one of you guys lived in Guam and the, somebody lived in the Marshall Islands or something. Remember we were talking about it one time? Anyway, you guys, it is, it's a beautiful place to live, but like, I can't explain it to you unless you've ever lived in a place like this. It's like so difficult to understand. Like you don't have, and if, and it's one thing, look, and I'm not, look, I love my, I love where I live and it's, a, it is really beautiful, but you don't have, like, I can't just go down and get something like, like if I want something, I have to order it. And, you know, it's not that that's a bad thing, but you know what I mean, right? Like, so you guys were like telling me, like, I don't know, what were we talking about? Somebody got some new cool something and I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. And then you were like, oh, I'm going to run down to Hobby Lobby and get it. Girls, there is no Hobby Lobby in the tropics. You were testing me. What were you testing me about? Hi, Kayla. Yeah, you can't really relate until you live it. Okay, I'll kind of give you. Hi, Sherry. Um, 
what did we make for the Santa swap? Um, like some like five painty papers, some handmade envelopes. If you can't make the envelopes, then paint some envelopes. I mean, it's just a guideline. It's really just sending supplies. It's like sending your favorite, your favorite cool supplies to other people. It's really all it is. You know, like five envelopes. You guys help me out. Those that are in the swap. Some embellishments. But it can be your embell embellishments, your style. Like maybe you make ATCs, so send that. You know, like send, send what you make. Some lace, some bits and bobs from your stash, whatever that looks like for you. Everybody's stash is different. Anyway, so now I get back to my ridiculous handbag story. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm having like a brain moment today. So after like I fussed with these upholstery samples and I took them all apart, you know what? And I sewed one panel. This handbag is really large. Wait till you see it. I'm kind of in love with it though, so I think, I think I have to make myself one. Do you guys ever do that? Do you guys ever make something that you go, oh, and then you're like, I really love this, right? Anyway, so that is, so now I am making it. I had to go find some different fabric choices. And it's not like I can go down and just buy some like, you know, I, in my head, I wanted it to look like a carpet bag, but that's not how it's going to be because the fabric is not carpet bag-ish. So I went down to try and find some new fabric today and I was not quite so successful because our, our secondhand store closed. The rents are so high here that nothing stays in business. And people haven't figured it out. Like the landlords of the businesses, they don't care. So they haven't figured it out. So our, our favorite like little thrift store closed. So usually I would go down to the thrift store and see what somebody was discarding, but that wasn't even an option today. We do have like another one on the other side of the island that I have to drive. It's not like a minute. And it's been raining. Not that I'm complaining about the rain because we need it, but it's like you definitely don't, you're definitely not running to drive out in like tropical rain because it can be, you can have, uh, this time of year we can have like flash floods. Maybe Kayla can explain it to you. But anyway, so my handbag extravaganza did not happen. And so I've got to work on that. I've got to work on the handbag part and I've got to work on. So that's really the only thing that I'm, I only have a few things that I have to make for Christmas this year. And my sister who I usually always make something amazing for, she, I don't even know if I'm going to make her anything. We were talking, she said, oh, I don't really want anything for Christmas. See, I think unless people make handmade things, they don't realize the effort and energy that goes into it. It's not like you can, I guess you can just whip up some things, but you know what I mean. You girls get it. So the handbag extravaganza, I will show you guys. Maybe I'll show you on Friday. I'll show you the handbag. It's quite large. So I was going to move my camera and put it in a space where you can actually see the sewing machine. Because who was it that was asking me if I ever sewed pages? Yes, I've sewed, um, I've sewed many times. I've sewed, you mean like sewing the paper itself, right? Not sewing signatures. Of course, everyone sewed signatures, but yes, I have. And you need a dull needle. That's my only tip is you need a dull needle. You just need a dull needle. And if you have a dull needle, you'll be good to go. The dull needle works. Yeah, winter season is a rainy season, and we've had a crazy rainy season, you guys. It has been rainy, rainy, rainy so far, which is not bad for us because we need the rain and we need the water, right? But the people that come to visit, they, they're not appreciative of it. Hi, Pauline. How are you? You guys, did you guys have anything handmade on your on your wish list? 
So Sherry, if you go over to the Secret Santa Swap, it says it in the event in the list. It tells you like what the minimum things are, meaning that's the bare minimum that you should send your person. It's really just about sharing your stash, sharing, you know, making a few handmade things and then sharing a bunch of extras. That is really all it is. It's not, it's not like a big, although you know what, I think anytime I'm involved in anything where I swap anything, I kind of like, you know, I'm always a little bit nervous about like what am I sending what am I you know that sort of thing I do my own number on myself okay you signed up for the woo woo oh good what do you use a ballpoint pen for it I missed it miss Aussie mom I missed it sometimes you guys chat and it goes too fast hi Maria oh my goodness everybody say hi to Maria Maria's in Greece how are you Maria How are you? Has anybody seen Lily lately? I haven't seen her. Does anybody know if she got her dog? Remember she was getting a puppy or she was thinking about it? Do you guys remember? Okay, Miss Aussie Mom says she used a ballpoint needle for sewing paper. That's awesome. I just use a dull one. I just keep all my dull ones. That's awesome. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> it, you know, it has been fun. And thank you guys for the Christmas cards you guys have been sending me. They're awesome. I'll show them to you guys on Friday. They were, they're super awesome. I'm really, I, I enjoyed them. They're like so nice. And they're so fun. So if you guys get something for me and it's like, and it's got some weird stuff in it, can you just like, just go with it? Because I figure that, you know, I'll send you, I'll either send a tag, maybe I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I, I'll, I've made so many tags, I'll show you the tags I've made. i made lots of tags so far. You haven't missed anything, Maria. Your dog's here, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie's so funny. You guys, Charlie could not go with us to the concert today. Charlie was not a happy pup. Okay, can I just say it? She was not happy. She wanted to go. She was like, what do you mean you're leaving me at home? She was like, I don't want to be left at home. And I crate her when we leave her at home. Okay, so this is wrapping paper number two. I crate her when we leave her at home because you guys... Anyway, I would, if, if she ate, like, one of my art supplies and got sick, I would not be happy. So this is wrapping paper number two. So, I guess it's like painting papers, but it's bigger. You know? I did not mail you any junk mail. You got some junk mail today. Was it from me? No, I didn't mail you any junk mail. Are you making fun of me, Susan? making fun of me. I know you are. It's all good. So this is wrapping paper one. Wrapping paper, I guess I'll go back and paint a little bit more here. Maybe I won't do it right this minute, but that's wrapping paper one and two. There's wrapping paper two, and this is wrapping paper one. So you guys get the idea of my wrapping paper. It is not... You're so ridiculous. You sent all of yours today, Lisa, all your Christmas cards, 33 in the U.S. and 5 international. That's awesome. Sherry, I agree with Liz. Leave your comparison voice outside and just enjoy crafts. Your dog ate his crate, Samantha? Oh, my God. 
Well, this one's like a metal one. She can't eat it. So now you guys see my, now you guys get the idea. Obviously, if it was all one piece laying on the floor. What was expensive? Your secret sister was expensive? Why was your secret? If you guys are sending shipping in the U.S., please, can I, can I have to say this like a couple of times. You have to ship it in a priority flat rate box. Okay? Priority flat rate. They look exactly the same. Okay? But they're not. They're not. One of them will say flat rate on it, and the other one will say, and they look exactly the same except for that. Okay? So please, if you're shipping US to US, and they should not give you a hard time for making your package big. It is up to 70 pounds, and it doesn't matter. And I'm going to tell you this. I mail those, that out all the time, chock-a-block full, not a big deal. Never have a difficult time. And they're not always nice here, okay? So I don't have, like, you know. So And if I don't like what they say, I just take it and go to a different post office. So I'm just telling you. Lisa, you are a rock star. You know what? Sherry, you can, look, I'll show you what I'm going to send in my... I don't have my store-bought Christmas card, but I did buy them because they're kind of cool. They're like Hawaiian, so I figured nobody would have that. And so I did buy, actually I went back to try to buy a few more, but they sell out fast here. That's one thing is they sell out the Christmas cards. Things sell out fast because they're like weird. The the ones that are from Hawaii, not the, not the regular kind that you get. All right, I will show you what I'm mailing out, my tags, okay? So what I figure I'll do is, I've made some, and I'll show you what I have, and I'm sorry, I've got paint my, put my paint down here in my tag bag. So I've been making tags, if you guys are making them with me, we're on day five, making tags, making tags, making tags. So this is what I've made, okay? So this is what I'll send, and I'll, I'll put it in an envelope and put some other stuff in it. This is what I made today. Which I kind of had fun making today's tag. I had fun every day, but today was, I didn't get to spend a ton of time on it, but, you know. So this is what I made today, and mine are all made, these are made out of um, cereal boxes, but I like them. And I made myself a stencil, see? Somebody was complaining that I was making mine out of die cuts because of the snowflake one, so I cut mine out of a thing. And this is my... Maria, we understand. Yeah, if you don't get the answer you want from your post office, first of all, make sure you're sending it, if you're sending it US to US, in a flat rate envelope. It should be like, I think it's like $6.45. Thanks, Stace! So these are my making out of recycled packaging. So that was what I made today. And then the ones I made yesterday were these, which I actually really love these. I was kind of into them. So I made these yesterday. These were the ones from yesterday. And these are book pages. You guys are probably all racy, but look, see they're book pages. I glued like four layers of book pages together. And then I painted on top with, you know me and my cheap acrylic paint. And then these are plastic. Remember I made those plastic snowflakes out of... Um, Let's see, I have one somewhere. What did I do with it? Remember I made those for the frisket? They're made out of the pa they're the bottom of the salad box. And I use that Sizzix die. I've got a couple of snowflake dies. So I this was the one that I used when I painted the other ones. So I just glued them on to here. I've just painted them white. And those are book page tags. So I may send some of these. And then the day before that, I made these. So you guys can make these. These are like nothing, okay? Do not want to, if you have taken a book apart, you definitely have book pages. Four layers, glued together, snip the sides and put, you can get one of those hole punches for 99 cents, okay? This was a Stampin' Up set. Somebody gave me, remember I told you my friend that was like the crafting queen? She gave me some Stampin' Up, cool Stampin' Up sets that I'd never used. 
Okay, these were the day before that, and these are pa product packaging, like I think Kellogg's cornflakes boxes. A little bit of mixed media paper on it, because remember I had those book pages that I had used as my drop cloth, and they were like full of texture paste. And then book page punches that, you know, that was the day before, right? And then these were the day before that. And you guys, I love these. I'm like in love with them. Like these were the first day. This was day one that we did. And I really like this one. But I learned a lot when I made this one. And this was when we made our own texture paste. I kind of like tags. I think I have a tag addiction. It's like so stupid. I don't know why. Right? So this one I love. It was like felt like a little piece of art to me. So I made that texture paste. You guys, baking soda blue and white paint right and then what I realized is that if I frisketed and then I did one where I stamped inside of it you know with our crazy circle stamp that I like but I like this one just as it is it just has I just put a little bit of white acrylic paint on top before I laid the texture paste down but I kind of like the way it looks just like that and I mean I think it kind of looks like a pair of faded blue jeans or something I think it's it must be the corn it might be a cornflakes box it could be a I don't know. It was like granola bars or something, right? But I learned a lot. And so what I learned for myself was, after the first day, when I did day two, was that if I used those plastic snowflakes and I used them and I just painted around them and just added some texture paste on top. Now I could go back. I was going to add some, you know, like stickles or one of those things, glitter paint, but I haven't done that yet. Maybe, maybe not. But I kind of like them the way they are. You know, I mean, they're not, they're just tags. And then I figure I'll write on the back of them. But I'm not going to stick ribbons in them if I put them in the mail because, you know, that just makes the mail more bulky. So you guys, if I can make all these out of packaging tags, you can too. And, you know, like this was nothing. I made these tags out of all those boxes. I mean, and they all look a little different. Some of them could use some painting because I haven't painted on them. I just put the texture paste on them. This was the same thing, texture paste and some painty papers it was actually painty um oh my gosh wax paper and then painty papers i mean this is just texture paste and polka dots my stars which i liked texture paste texture paste now i'm going to keep doing tags every day and after the holidays they won't be holiday tags they'll just be art you know and it so somebody said, do I have to do a tag? No, make whatever you want to make. For me, it was just an exercise in giving myself permission to make art 15 minutes a day. And I know that, you know, I make so many journals, I'll use tags. And writing on the back of one, now if you get paint on the back, because you guys know I'm not a neat crafter, just put a piece of paper over it, glue it down, you know. But I think they're kind of fun. I may hang some of them on my Christmas tree. You guys, you can do this. This is like not high art. This is, I guess in some worlds you could say it's high art, right? <laughs> but you guys, it's just the texture paste. So easy. One part glue, ha half a part glue, one part baking soda or talcum powder or cornstarch and one part acrylic paint. So you guys saw me mix it up in a tiny thing and it went really far. I mean, one, these were like one batch of texture paste. You can sand it afterwards. It, it actually holds up super well. I mean, you can sand it if you wanted to. But if I can do this, you guys can do this. Thanks, Maria. Did every Is everybody entering into... Um, thanks, Lisa. You're so sweet. You have two books taken apart? That's awesome, Pauline. Yeah. Yeah, you put them together. I found that, you know why? Because, you know, I paint on book pages. You guys know that's one of my favorite things. And I know somebody's going to watch this, and I'm going to get one of those kind of crazy comments telling me that I'm, you know, killing books or whatever. You guys, the only books I take apart are the ones that I get that they're throwing away. Or I buy them from the secondhand bookshop, and they get them, you know, from... Somebody that's throwing them away. So
So you guys head on over to It's Nana's Place and check out her giveaway. The video is called Winner and Winner Chicken Dinner. And she's doing a fabulous giveaway. And the only thing you have to do to participate is make her a journal page. And I think you have until the 10th. You have to mail it out by the 10th and it has to be received by the 15th. Oh, thanks, Stace. You're awesome. You guys go over and check out Stacy too. You let you love her. She pink poodle. She's always whenever I'm whenever I feel like watching something live, Stace is always around. So Stacy, you have stamina, sister. You have stamina. And I hope you're feeling good, Stace. We love you. Thanks, Stace. I love your creations too. You guys, do you realize how lucky we are? Like, we're so lucky that we can, like, hang out with each other across. Like, I'm in Hawaii, and, you know, I know Maria's in, um, in Greece, but, I mean. Good night, Stace. Hey, Lisa, you're never late. You guys tell everybody where you're from because some of you guys have really met your crafty besties and I love that. You're feeling much better. Oh, yay. Hello, how do you two stay? We are lucky we have each other, you know. We are really lucky we have each other. You know, you guys have seen me through some of the worst times. I mean, and I'm so grateful for that, you know. Your friends stick by you when you're not, when you're not on the up. We are blessed, Beth. I agree. I so agree. I agree, Cindy. We love your art, Sherry. We love your art. Okay, let's see. Canada and Ontario. Houston. New York City in the house. North Carolina in the house. Night, Brenda. Jacksonville, Florida in the house. Stacy does rock mixed media. Manitoba, Canada in the house. Nevada in the house. You know, we must have some Arkans, Arkan, how do you, is it Arkansonians? How do you, Ar Arkansas, how do you say that? Kat is from southwestern Sydney in Australia. New Mexico in the house. Maple Ridge, British Columbia. Little Rock, Arkansas. Indianapolis, Indiana. New Zealand in the house. <laughs> Susan says we're hicks. Uh, Miss Aussie Mom's from Sydney, too. Hi, Sandra. Scotty's from Arkansas too. Emily is from Northern Pittsburgh. North Pittsburgh. North of Pittsburgh. Winnetoba, Man Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Where it's nice and warm, right, Sherry? Your mom's from Oahu, Pauline? Oh, awesome. I live on the island of Maui. Hemet, California. You spent Thanksgiving in Webster, Lisa? Oh my gosh, that's great. You know, I'm from that area. We, you, Cindy says, Emily, she loves her Steelers. Hi, organized miss. What tell us your first name. Little Falls, Minnesota. And I know Pat's from Minnesota, too. You're making the seven circle ornament? Awesome, Cheryl. I put mine on the tree already. Teeny tiny town in the woods, Emily. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Maria's from Athens. Oh, Vicki, it's a long story how I ended up in Hawaii. But it's like, you know, have you ever been a place and you know it just calls to you? That's how I ended up here. That's like the shortened version. Dina from Kansas. I know you've told me your name before, but Deanna. I'm sorry. You guys, I'm not so great with it names. <laughs> I 
Cindy, you live 35 miles from Pittsburgh? Oh, that's great. Warm here. Yeah, ha, yeah, I get it. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. You're so, so funny. I went to one of the best Thai restaurants I've ever been to. It was in Pennsylvania, but it was in Harrisburg. You guys are so, so funny. So if I can art, if I can, you know, my goal is because I've gotten so busy and just doing my own other stuff. So that's why this 15 minute a day thing. Hi, Ada. You, Ada's from Winber, Pennsylvania. Scotty's from Ar it's Arkan. Ar Arkansans, 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 I, I, you know, I, whatever, you guys, I'm not good at that. If you want to be inspired, head over and, yeah, definitely, you should definitely go subby to Cindy's channel. You guys will be totally inspired. And then you can see what a real art studio looks like. <laughs> Not like my little tiny one. Not my little desk here. Arkansans. Arkansans. Okay. Arkansans. Kansans. Okay. You guys are so funny. So funny. Did any of you guys make the birds? The birds that I made in July. Because they're so funny. I love it. I agree. You're proud to be Hawaiian. I, it's, it's awesome, Callie. You never know. You may end up back here. You know, it's just not an easy place to live. It's beautiful, but it's a little tumultuous. You can ask Kayla. She can explain it to you. Out, CJ, you're from outside of Richmond? Awesome. You made angel wings for your church bazaar? Oh, that's awesome, Kathy. You know, I gave mine away. I have. Do you guys want the angel wing pattern or the bird pattern? If you go to Crafting Mamas on Facebook, it's in the files. The patterns for that is. Because I think everything else you guys can make without a pattern. You don't need a pattern. I guess I can make one more piece of wrapping paper. I'm sorry, guys. My energy is like so. I, I have no ibuprofen. See, when you have no ibuprofen, <laughs> it is so expensive, Kayla. If I told you, anyway, they're going up on all of our taxes here. Just makes it even worse. And right now, I told you guys about the ridiculous housing shortage. CJ says she's going to Virginia during the holidays. Awesome. You're Canadian. I thought you were Canadian when you said it. I was like, Good night, Trace. Thank you. You guys, make sure you guys head on over to It's Nana's Place and subby to her channel and join in the giveaway. Super awesome. Super, super, super awesome. Did a super awesome. That is awesome, Cindy, that you love Sherry's work. And that I agree, Sherry. It makes you feel awesome, doesn't it? Because I left out my stencils that I made, and I don't know where I put them. It's like, you guys, I think I'm going crazy. I've been up since the crack of dawn. And plus, I haven't been sleeping well with my ridiculous shoulder problem. I promise I will make some more... Um, I will make some more angels or and stuff like that before before we before we um before the holidays you know what I mean before before the holidays come to a close I'll make some more angel wings you know what I even looked today for some raffia because I thought it would you guys would have a good laugh at my raffia angels I thought you would be um. I thought you would be like, oh, this is so the most ridiculous. 
So let me see. I wanted to. Where's my pen? Anyway, you guys, it's like. Good night, Amanda. Amanda, make sure. Amanda, did you sign up for the for the woo woo? Please make sure that you do. Please, please, please. <laughs> Emily, it's not real. Trust me. It's not real. I wish it was. I wish it. I honestly, for you, I wish it could be. I wish it could be for anybody. Um. It's it's ridiculously expensive here. It's like it's like more than you can even imagine. Ask Kayla; she can she can fill you in. Kayla can fill you in. I need a marker that's gonna write on this. What did I do with my sharpie? Okay. Oh, you having your first cup of coffee? Wow, what time is it, Maria? Is it really in, is it really early there? Is it really early? You guys, I'm not so great at drawing on a sponge, but we'll see. This is what I did with one of my kids one year. One of my my older daughters, she was into really into cats. And we made a cat stamp. We made a cat stamp on a, let's see if it comes out good. I'll look for those photographs. You guys will laugh because all of my, you can tell which ones were my Christmas presents under my mother-in-law's tree because mine were the ones that were like, you know, crazy colored. And then, um, and I'll show you the ribbon that I make too. So, one thing you can buy or you can get pretty much cheap anywhere is muslin or if you have a cool thrift store near you can get a you can get a sheet right and tear it into strips and i'll show you i'm making some ribbon for a a book i'm making and i'll show it to you so you know a million years ago my older daughter was She's a, she'll be 26, you guys. When she was, like, little, when we were making, we used to make our own ribbon. You guys, I was ridiculous. When I look back now, I was, like, thinking, like, what what was wrong with me? Do I think I was Martha Stewart or what? Um, when we used to make our ribbon and all this stuff, I used to... We used to make stamps out of potatoes. Did you guys ever do that? make stamps out of potatoes and I used to do it with acrylic paint you could used to be able to and I don't know I'm sure you can still get it um, you can buy like a fixative for acrylic paint or for different types of paint that'll fix it on this you can wash it acrylic paint usually won't come off of anything anyway but um, my scissors are dull you guys from all the paper cut everything. I had to I had to buy myself a new pair of scissors making this handbag, you guys, because my fabric scissors, one of the kids found them and I had hit them and they found them and when I wanted to cut that fabric, it was like I couldn't cut through anything. So I bought myself a new pair. I did splurge. Not an expensive pair. But I bought myself a new pair of fabric only scissors. Okay. So let's see how it stamps. So there's my cat and one year we made cat wrapping paper. Is that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? But that's what we did. We made cat wrapping paper because my daughter, that's 26 at the time, was probably like, I don't know, seven or eight. She's always been into cats, but she was really into cats at that point. Everything was a cat. Everything was about a cat. <coughs> anyway... We made cat wrapping paper. 
So I'll make some cat wrapping paper with you guys. What's well, probably ten dollars cheaper at the bar? What? I use brown paper too, but you know what's so funny is that they're giving every time I because I like to make my, a lot of my painting papers from brown paper. But you guys were all complaining that there was like you guys didn't have. Um, I should paint a background first. That you guys didn't have. Maybe I'll paint the background blue and then I'll do the. Um. You guys that they don't give that they don't give uh, brown bags anymore at stores. But you know here anyway they just outlawed plastic bags a few years ago. So they have to give you some sort of bag. That being said, our big box store charges you for your bags. So you guys, it's like every, we call it the Maui gouge. Every time you turn around, there's like something else that you have to pay for that you were like, what? You were like, that's not, that's not nice. That's not fair. But anyway. So one year we made, and I've made, you can make Santa Claus heads or hat, Santa hats out of, out of sponges. I mean, sponges are fairly cheap. You guys have a dollar store. We don't even have that. So if you have a dollar store, you could definitely get some cool. Um... Now, I'm not trying to paint the whole thing. You guys, what you have to learn when you're making your own wrapping paper like this, especially if you're making out of this thin stuff, is you don't want to try to cover all of it. Because, first of all, it'll fl if you put it on too thick, it'll flake off. And then if you live in a place where there's carpet or you're sending it to somebody where there's carpet, they're not going to like you. It'll be like worse than a glitter bomb. But the other thing is, is that, you know, you're not trying to, you have to get over the perfection. Painted wrapping paper is handmade. It's not, um, it's not going to be like other wrapping paper. What's cool though is I showed you guys how to make your own washi tape. You can make your own washi tape to match the wrapping paper if you wanted. You know, that would be super cool. Because I don't even have a big enough lid for that cat stamp. I guess this one will have to be it. So you don't want to try to totally cover up your, your and you want a dry brush. That's what I think. But you know, try it yourself. You'll see. You'll see what works good for you. You'll, you'll do it and you'll be like, oh, that was good or that wasn't good. All right, so here's my cat stamp and... I was looking, I have this coppery paint, but I don't see it. And that copper paint, it comes out really nice. Gold, not so much, at least in this cheap brand. There's probably another amazing, there's probably other amazing colors or paints or whatever. I'm just trying to think of what I have. Well, I guess I'll put pink hats on it because I have bright pink here. And... I'm just going to spread it out on my my lid, my palette. So, yeah, add a little bit of water to it. Newsprint, Maria, like super thin, like, it's like, newsprint is... It's like kids it's like kids writing tablet drawing tablet paper. I don't know what the equivalent in Greece is. It's kind of like anyway. I just don't want to waste my waste my paint. You definitely wanna in order to, it needs to be wetter than your normal paint would be for whatever. Okay, you guys <laughs> are you seeing my cats? Is this ridiculous? Now I'll go back and outline them later, but is it ridiculous? I'll let them dry and then I'll outline them. If you want them to be darker, go back and stamp on top of them. Oh, I've done all kinds of, yeah, and if you got a, a different type of sponge, you won't get this kind of texture. This is just a really porous sponge. You know, you can make your own stamp, too, with a piece of paper. You don't even need a sponge if you don't want it. You could, 
you know, cut it out of a piece of cardboard and make your own stamp. It'll it'll make an impression too. But whoever it was that asked me last week when we were talking about it, I wanted you to get the experience of what. And if you do that, this is like a fun thing to do if you have kids or grandkids. You know, they can make their own wrapping paper. It's kind of cool. And I'm gonna let it dry a minute, and then I'll outline my. I think I have a silver. I don't have. It's not the same. Those Crayola markers, you guys, go and get them. They are the bomb. I don't, I took them from my daughter. I think this one's more, I think this Office Max one is more like a permanent marker. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We'll see. I guess we can see. They're not dry yet. I just don't want to get my hand in it too much, but maybe you won't even be able to see it because it's blue. Yeah, maybe I'll just go back and use the gold one. Sorry. I, th I don't remember what colors they come in. There's like eight colors, I think, or six colors. You guys, I don't know. She has a whole set of them. Okay, you guys see my ridiculous cats? Did you guys get the idea? I can let them dry a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, you could stamp over a different color once it's dry, and you could also draw in the details if you wanted to. But I'm only sharing it with you because, you know, so many times you find yourself like, I don't know, do any of you guys have kids that are still school age or grandkids that are school age? You know, for me, it was a way to teach my kids that not everything was store-bought. You know, we always have to give handmade. So, I will tell you the simpler the shape, the easier it is. It's because, you know, it's just a sponge. When it dries, I'll put some whiskers on it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you guys see it? Can you see the cat? Your kids are preschool age? Well, this would be perfect. You could do their handprints. Good night, Miss Aussie Mom. So I don't know if you can see it. But you get the general idea, right? You totally, you get the general idea. You get the general idea of cats. <laughs> Is it ridiculous? Probably. Is it fun? Absolutely. Is it ridiculous? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Definitely probably ridiculous. Well, Cheryl, if your granddaughter's three, you would have fun making this with her, especially if you cut out her little, if their hands are small enough to fit on the sponge, draw their hands, because, you know, those are things that you'll cherish forever. You will totally cherish, you'll totally cherish your your granddaughter's handprint forever, don't you think? I think hand painted get hand painted um, gifts is awesome. I mean, you can go back if you wanted to and do some whiskers or not. If you wanted to, I need a thinner brush than this, but you get the general idea. Get the general you get the general idea I need a I need a I must have a smaller brush than this you guys sometimes I don't buy nice brushes anymore Adi has nice brushes for his paint but I don't really buy nice brushes anymore unless I'm really and if I'm gonna do something like really artistic then I just borrow his because my kids use all mine mine's like a free-for-all so you never know who's gonna use in my house you never know who's gonna use my brushes and yeah, it's like my scissors. But you get the general idea, right? You get the general idea that you could. Let me 
the general idea of your cat of your cat wrapping paper for the cat lover out there. But I hope it also gives you the ideas that you know, like if you if you were gonna make yourself, I don't know, a greeting card or whatever, and you just don't have like all the excellent expert supplies, you can do this too. Not a big deal. Hi, Renee. How are you? You bought some Kool-Aid, Malia, to dye your papers with? Oh, how fun. That is awesome. Uh, if I, When I finally reset up my craft room, I will show you guys. I made one with green Kool-Aid dyed papers, a journal, and I love it. Hi, Mary. Okay, so this was paper number three. I should have done it in a darker color so you could see it because the light's not very good here. But you get the general idea. Right? So this is what we made today. We did, it wasn't as exciting as normal, but we made today. We made, this is one wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper number three. And this is wrapping paper number two. Wrapping paper number two, I did both sides. Wrapping paper number three only has one side done. And then here's wrapping paper number one. What it, oh, <laughs> Shelly, don't ask you here. I'm here for your sanity. Oh, that's okay, Renee. I love you. I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> Susan says no sanity here. Okay, so now you guys see my so now you guys see my handmade wrapping paper. You know, it's not as nice as painting papers because the paper itself is not as nice, but you know, it is it's decent, you know? So you can come in, are you coming in? Okay. You have to be home in twenty minutes, okay? So anyway, hi Edna. What oh, would that be? The tiny tiny at six. Yeah. Oh. Where's the dog? Okay. Yes, kitty cats. You guys are so funny. You're close to the edge. Oh no! Hi hey, Shelly, twenty thousand and four. You guys are so funny. So if you guys haven't signed up for the woo woo, go over to bodysoulalignment.com and I'm doing 30 days of energy work and today was day four, I think. It'll end on New Year's Eve. And because I started on the second. So do you could listen to the replay from today. The replay from today is up and you can enjoy the rest of the 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 26 days more 26 more days body soul alignment.com and if you go on, if you're in crafting mamas I, I put the link in there too so you can it's 30 days of energy work I'm sure somebody could try to send you some Kool-Aid, but I don't know if they'll even, will they even allow it? You know, like sometimes when you're sending stuff like that, they don't know what it is. They take it. Like I brought some, um, what do you want to call it? Detergent, this, this solid detergent back from South America and they weren't even, they didn't want they didn't want to let me in. Hi, Patricia. Here, I'll show you guys my ribbon. I made some ribbon. I told you guys I'm making a book, and I'll show you the ribbon the ribbon for the book. And it's the same way that I make wrapping paper ribbon, but I made it for this particular book, and I'll show it to you. Hold on. I have it right over here. So if you guys just 
get yourself some muslin and or this is like inexpensive muslin and it comes really long and wide and it's not expensive i think it's probably like i'm guessing like two dollars a yard but it's wide and so what i did is i took our favorite hero art circle stamp and i stamped on it with permanent ink and i'm gonna use it to I don't, know if, I don't know if it shows up very well because it's kind of dark in here, but you guys get it. So I do the same thing if I'm going to make ribbon for a package, you know, and if you can use, if you want really long fabric, I suggest you go to a thrift store and get a sheet, you know, and, you know, use your stamp and your stays on ink or your stamp and some acrylic paint and make your own ribbon. And it works great. So now you guys, you guys saw my ribbon in my, obviously if I was going to put, make ribbon for my cat wrapping paper, it wouldn't be this. It would be, maybe it would be, but it would be just different colors that would go with it. So if you guys can, if you guys wanted to make your own wrapping paper, now you see how I do it. I also make it out of these brown bags, but I don't know for whoever, whatever reason you guys are like telling me you can't get brown bags where you are, so. Newsprint or brown bags. Brown bags actually hold up paint a lot better. And they're better to... Yeah, a sheet does... Hi, Carla. A sheet does work great. You can always find an old sheet. And if you can find a 100% cotton sheet, I think it's even better. But, you know, get use what you can. Use what you can. Well, my ladies, who would like to do a few minutes of woo-woo before we say adieu? And for those of you that are new, woo-woo is just some energy work. I That's what I do for a living. I'm an energy practitioner. Um, Kat, I think anybody would be willing to send it to you. I just don't know if it would get through customs because it's a powder. I mean, I, I don't know if it would get through customs. You know, I don't know how strict Australian customs are. It's not expensive here. I don't even know how much it would be to ship it to you, but I can't be I can't imagine. Good night, Malia. But go if you guys really want to get a full dose of woo woo, okay, go to bodysoulalignment.com, go to the homepage, add your name and your email address, and you'll get sent a link. Every day, most days of the week, Monday Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm doing it at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's about a half an hour, okay? And it is and it is full on just the woo-woo, right? And then on Tuesdays and Fridays, I'm doing it at 7 in the morning my time, which is noon Eastern time. So... Is, is Eastern time is so on Tuesdays and Fridays it's noon Eastern time and then if you're in different time zones you can figure out from there but there's a replay so when you receive the link you get um, a password for the day and you get a new link every day and then you um, can go back and listen to the replay. The replay stays up for two days. So it's live every single day. It's not a recording. It's live and every single day we work on something a little bit different. So for those of you, want, of you that want to stay for the woo-woo, we're going to do it in a couple minutes. So find yourself a good place to settle in and sit down and put your feet flat on the floor. And all you need to do is inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. That's the very, that's all you need to do. Yes, Carla, I'm, we're loving your journals and stuff you're making.
account if you put your if you put your address in the rack file I am sure if somebody can actually post some Kool-Aid to you they will because it's, it's very very the packets are very small okay my lovelies <clears throat> for those that are going to join us just find yourself a place to sit and settle in now if you don't want to receive the energy work just say no and you won't and you can still hang out and listen. But if you do, just say yes to yourself. And um... Oh, awesome cat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, my lovelies. It's your cat typing. <laughs> CJ, you had us all worried last week or whatever when you were like the random number thing and I missed it all, but everybody was all worried about you because of the cat. Okay, tell the cat. What's the cat's name? No typing. It's not time. All right, my lovelies. Thanks for hanging out with me while I painted wrap and paper. CJ, I'm going to use that excuse for when my typos are really bad. I'm going to say, Willow, stop typing. Willow, you can join us for the woo-woo, but stop typing. You're making us worry about your mom. <laughs> oh, Sherry, that's so exciting. Maybe you and Janine can get together and have a craft and mama's adventure. And hang out. See? You, everybody's finding their crafty besties. It makes me so happy. You guys have no idea how happy that makes me. And you guys know if you're ever here, if you guys ever find your way to the island of Maui in the middle of the beautiful Pacific Ocean, you definitely have to let me know. And we'll definitely have some crafting mamas. Uh, I've got enough craft supplies. If, you, if you'll if you just do the recycle crafting with me, I've got enough for all of us. I think it's awesome that you guys are finding each other. I think it's super, super, super awesome. Okay, my lovelies, let's do a little woo-woo, and then I'll, hopefully you guys will sleep really well, and anyway. So, we'll do, we'll do a little extension of the woo-woo I did earlier today, which is all about love. All about receiving, giving and receiving love. How does that sound? To yourself, first and foremost. Common abbreviation in old electronic bulletin boards was KJOK. -K -K. Cat jumped on the keyboard. Oh, good to know, Liz. <laughs> okay, here we go. Close your eyes. I want everyone to close your eyes. It were you don't have to close your eyes. You can do the energy work with your eyes open or closed. I just find that it's better to. For me, it's better when I close my eyes. But you do whatever you'd like. And for those that don't want to do it along, just say no to yourself. You can still listen. You won't receive the energy. You may feel better afterwards because generally that's what happens. Because we're all we're all connected, right? So close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. And either put your feet flat on the floor or if you can't put your feet on the floor, just image your feet on the floor. See yourself in a column of light, and this column of light extends around you six feet in all directions. When you look up, you can't see the top, and when you look down, you can't see the bottom. This is your column of light. I want you to see a dimmer switch close by, and I want you to turn that dimmer switch up. And as you do, your light becomes brighter and brighter and brighter and even more until it is glowing, beautiful glowing white light. I want you to see your column of light going deep, deep deep and even deeper into the earth. And when you've gone as far as you can easily and effortlessly and enjoyably imagine, allow your column of light to grow deep oak 
roots, like oak tree roots, deep, deep, deep into the earth. See your tree roots spreading far and deeper, anchoring your column of light deep into the earth. I want you to give your body personality permission and ask our beloved Mother Earth to feel and receive her loving energy. And I envision this energy like gold, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful gold energy rising up through your roots, rising up through your column of light, deep from the core of the earth and entering your feet and spreading your ankles, calves, knees and spreading, thighs and hips and spreading, the base of your spine, your lower abdomen. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rising up through your waist, Filling your whole body, your heart, your back. Feel it flowing through every vertebra of your spine. Feel it flowing down your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out every finger. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rising up through your throat. Filling your head and fountaining out the top of your head. Ready, breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel your connection to the earth. Allow your attention to rise up above your head and let's invite in beautiful, heavenly, angelic, cosmic energy. I envision this like silvery diamonds, but you can see, feel, think, or just know this energy any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful, silvery, diamond-like, cosmic, heavenly, angelic energy pouring in the top of your column of light, mixing with your earth energy and spreading, entering in the top of your head, filling your face and the back of your head, filling your throat, your neck, running down your spine, feel it your shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest and spreading, your waist and spreading, your lower abdomen and spreading, the base of your spine and spreading, and feel it pouring out your hips, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, out the bottom of your feet and expelling deep, deep, deep into the earth and out your tree roots. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. One more time. Breathe it in. And feel your connection to heaven and earth. I want you to go to the your first energy center, which is at the base of your spine. And I want you to breathe in and receive divine love. And on the exhale, I want you to give out divine love. Ready? Breathe in and receive divine love in your first energy center at the base of your spine. And exhale and give back divine love.
Breathe in divine love and exhale divine love. Breathe in divine love and exhale divine love. Breathe in divine love and exhale divine love. Allow your attention to rise to your second energy center, which is located in your lower abdomen. On the inhale, receive divine love. And on the exhale, give divine love. Receive divine love. And give divine love. Receive divine love and give divine love. Receive divine love and give divine love. Receive divine love and give divine love. Allow your attention to rise to your third energy center located in your waist, in your navel center. On the inhale, receive divine love, and on the exhale, give back divine love. Ready? Receive divine love, and give divine love. Receive divine love, and give divine love. Receive divine love and give divine love. One last time, receive divine love and give divine love. Allow your attention to rise up to your heart. And once again, receive on the inhale, receive divine love. Ready? Receive the love that you are. Receive it in and give it back. Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. Allow your attention to rise up to your throat. Receive divine love in your throat. Ready? Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. And one more time, receive it and give it. Allow your attention to rise up to your sixth energy center, which is in, located in the center of your forehead. Receive divine love. Ready? Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. And one more time. 
receive it and give it Allow your attention to rise up to the top of your head. Receive divine love. Ready? Receive it. And give it. Receive it. And give it. Receive it and give it. And one more time, receive it and give it. I want you to put your attention <clears throat> to a point of light six feet above your head. Receive divine love focusing on this point of light six feet above your head. Ready? Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. One more time, receive it and give it. I want you to focus back on your heart. At this point, include anyone that you think might need a little extra boost. It can be a person you know, maybe your neighbor, maybe somebody you work with. It can also be your home, your car, your place of business could be your pet, anything that you feel could use a boost in love. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe in the love. And then as you receive it, I want you to send it out to whomever comes to mind for you. Ready? Breathe it in. Receive it. And send it. Receive it and give it. Receive it and give it. One more time. Receive it and give it. I want you to image an infinity symbol, but make it standing straight up and down like your body does. Figure eight. See it starting at the top, six feet above your head. See it crossing in your heart, entering deep into the earth, coming back up to the earth, crossing in your heart, and ending where it begins. On this inhale, I want you to receive bliss in divine love. And on the exhale, I want you to give back that bliss and the divine love to the source where it originated. Ready? Breathe in. Receive in love. Receive bliss and divine love. Ready? Breathe it in. Let crossing in your heart, entering deep into the earth. Now give it back. Receive Bliss and divine love. Ready, breathe it in. Start crossing in your heart, entering deep into the earth. Now give it back. Receive it. And give it. Receive from source bliss and divine love. Receive it and give it back. One more time. Receive.
deep breath in divine love. And you can see that you can feel it filling your whole body, the energy running out of your hands and feet, really every cell of your body. Receive it and give it back. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes and come back. And if anybody wants to share, please feel free and share what you what you experienced, what you felt, what you thought. There's no right or wrong. Experience anything that you can share, any experience you have. Tonight, CJ. Good night, Janine. Please feel free to share how you feel. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Love you, girls. Anybody want to share? Please feel free. You're welcome, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Patricia. Please feel free if anybody wants to share what came to them, how, what, what they thought, what it felt like. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask. Oh, you're welcome. You know, make sure you go sign up for the 30 days of free energy work. You know, and um, it's just more intense than this. As far as like it just focuses solely on that and also releasing and a little combo of all of it. Hi, Lizzie. Have you been here this whole time and we missed you? Has our unicorn been here with us? I've been thinking about you, Lizzie. You have been on my mind. You have been on my mind. We're happy to see our unicorn. We are very, I'm very happy to see our unicorn. <laughs> I'm happy. You just woke up? Uh, well, we love you, Lizzie. We love you. You're not sleeping good? It is late where you are. Or did you wake up for your, for, your, for your bout of crafting in the middle of the night? Which I always enjoy. I just have to, I have to tell you. I love, we lo I love watching your crafting in the middle of the night. We love you, Lizzie. If you guys haven't subbed to Elizabeth Brewer's channel, go subby. You'll love her. So fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. 
You couldn't stop yawning. That's good, Patricia. You know, just allow it to release. You know, every person's different. And your body has built up all kinds of resistance to different things. Oh no. Oh, Lizzie, I'm sending you love. No, you're not complaining. Hey, I, sister, I threw my I hurt my shoulder. So I've been a, I've been a one these past few weeks. You guys have no idea. I know ibuprofen today. So we have a moment. There's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong, Patricia. But you know what happens is, is that it just awakens a different aspect of us. You've been lurking, Wendy. Oh, I love you, Wendy. You guys go over and watch Wendy's channel. She does some really cool stuff too. Reused Muse is Wendy. You can lurk away all you want. You know, I lurk. Like when I watch Stacy, I lurk. I can't, sometimes their chat goes so fast, I can't keep up with it. You know, so I lurk. I make my art and I listen and I watch. And, I, and sometimes, like, and I also lurk when I'm watching Carla too, because sometimes I'm like in the middle of doing stuff, because her, hers comes on early in the morning. Guys, I think I had paint on me when I went to the choir concert today. <laughs> I'm looking at my hands. I have it on now, but I think I, I think I had it on me all the whole day. Well, I'm happy you're here, Wendy. Anybody else want to share? Lizzie, I'm going to be sending you some love. If you're having gout, that's awesome. That's like the worst thing. I know it's like awesomely painful, right? So we're going to clear. We're going to do some clearing work on Lizzie's gout. Oh, you're so sweet, Wendy. Thanks for saying that. Elizabeth, you're gonna love you're gonna love watching Wendy's stuff. Wendy makes some really cool stuff. Joyce is saying you dropped a metal ruler on your foot, Lizzie. Do you remember that? I love you girls. You have no idea. And I love seeing what you guys are making. Please post what you make. It doesn't have to be what I'm making. Make it, post it. And you cannot post too many of your own creations in, in, on Facebook and Crafting Mamas. I love seeing what you're, what you're making. Everyone loves seeing what you're making. You, you had an x-ray and nothing's broken. You never miss anything, Trace. It's always there. Renee said she felt a heaviness in both of her feet and then it changed to heaviness in both of your arms. You know what it is, Renee, is that our bodies are, we're raising our, we're elevating our energy levels. Okay? Lizzie, I'm sending you, I am sending you so much love. So we're raising our energy levels and our bodies don't know exactly like you know especially if we hold a lot of stress so I, I can I can vouch for myself that I hold a lot of stress I'm getting much better at releasing it but I hold a lot of stress so what happens sometimes is like maybe because I hold my stress in my lower back that might hurt and it's just releasing Lizzie Susan saying stress fractures don't show up on x-rays right away. So she's suggesting that maybe you get another x-ray. I'm glad you share, Renee, because, it, you know, people don't know um, people don't know and they think something's wrong and there's nothing wrong. So, you know, the earth is going through a lot of changes. Can't you guys feel it? Like, you can feel the energy shifting, right? So she herself, the earth is a living being, just like we are. And the earth is going through her own changes and she is wanting to expand and become lighter and lighter and lighter. That's why like some of the things that we do all the time don't match up with us, you know, and unfortunately that's also like why we break up out of relationships and sometimes even with friends. And so you know, some it does maybe something you did a long time for a very long time no longer suits your energy anymore because you're expanding and growing. 
Everybody's saying, take it easy, Lizzie. And, and Renee said, she loves her some Lizzie Brewer. We all love you, Lizzie. We do. And we're going to send you so much love. Everybody, let's focus on Lizzie's feet and her foot. And let's just send her some healing, okay? You know, this coming year is going to be a big transitionary year for all of us. So I think for me, that's why doing energy work with all of you for 30 days prior to going into the new year is important for me. So, you know, to welcome in the new year and to out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> Good night, cat. Take care. I hope you feel well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't be surprised. I bet you somebody will send you some Kool-Aid. <laughs> Good night, cat. We love you. Big hugs to you. Anybody else want to talk about anything else before we say good night? Good night. Lizzie, you didn't miss anything. We've made our own wrapping paper. That's what we did today. Because I don't remember who asked me. But I think whoever asked me wasn't here tonight. So, you know, isn't that always the way? Any more questions or answers or comments? You're right, Joyce. Anybody can watch anytime. Lizzie, we love you. We're glad that you're here. Yeah, I am. I'm going to see a chiropractor. I'm supposed to go on Friday. We'll see. If I can go on Thursday, I'm going to try to. I will definitely, definitely go see, go and I gotta, if they can adjust it out, it would be so awesome. All right, my lovelies, if there's nothing else, I am putting my arms around all of you and giving you a big, big, big hug. And I'll see you on Friday. Same bat channel, same bat station. If you want to do the energy work, sign up, bodysoulalignment.com. And the energy work will happen tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. It's just a conference call. It's a half an hour. Love you, Lizzie. We love you. Oh, Joyce, go vacuum. Love you, Carla. Big hugs. Bye, Joyce. Sending you lots of love, Lizzie. Sending you lots and lots and lots of love on your journey and that your foot heals quickly and that they find out what it is and it's just easy. Easy, easy, easy. Go over and join our Facebook group if you haven't. Crafting Mamas. What's interesting, Renee? Big blessings to you, Miss Lizzie. Okay, Sherry's saying, why do you only feel two emotions? What do you what do you mean feel you only you're saying you only feel two emotions? Or are you asking me? I feel every I feel a ton of emotion. <laughs> I don't feel just two, but um, are you at you are you commenting on yourself?
Those are the exact two that are hurting you consecutively. Ooh, Renee, let it go. Don't take on anybody else's stuff, especially if it's mine. Do not take it. Well, Sherry, sometimes we block ourselves off. We're like a rainbow, right? We're a rainbow of energy. We're a rainbow of emotions. But some can seem more present than others based on some people that's how they cope. And many times people cope anger and indifference would be sort of like putting a wall up, not wanting to be vulnerable, not wanting to be hurt, not wanting to be... Um, and so, so anger and indifference can happen that way. Sometimes it comes when, you know, people shut their energy centers down for, I, I, we don't even know why. I mean, you know, and so, and it doesn't even matter why. What matters is, is that you raise your vibration. As you raise your own vibration and how you do that is putting yourself in in places that bring you joy surrounding yourself with people places things times and events that bring you joy and sometimes it's like watching didn't you guys ever see that um i'm trying to think of the guy's name my head the uh, hard sometimes i can't hold a thought though after i've done this proper work um the guy who had cancer was it Norman Vincent Peale who had like inoperable cancer and then put on like Three Stooges movies and sat in a room and laughed for a week or two weeks or a month or whatever it was. And um, he cured himself of cancer. Now he did that by vibrationally putting himself into bliss and laughter and love, right? Putting himself in a place to feel happy, feel good. So sometimes we have people in our lives that they're around us because we raise their vibration and maybe they're angry or they're indifferent, right? But that's all a mask. It's like an onion for what's really underneath and they don't want to see it and, you know, so you cover it up, right? But the best thing you can do, because we can only change ourselves. We can't change anyone else. We can only work on ourselves, right? So as we ourselves work on ourselves and raise our own vibration and become happier and lighter, it shifts everything and everyone around us. So if you're saying that's how your partner feels or that's how you that's your perception of them is anger is that they're only expressing anger and indifference. Put yourself in a space to be light and love in your own life. Be the light and love you need. You can't fix anyone. You cannot. Each one of us is responsible for riding our own bike. <laughs> I don't fix anything. You know, all I do, if you want to know the truth, all I do is I put my energy out there in my in the most positive way and through that raising of my own vibration working on myself energy shifts around me that's all I do you know Sherry come back and listen to sign up for I can't you know what I know I seem like a broken record. You guys, it's a gift. It is a gift. It is a gift to each and every one of you. It is a gift. It's a gift I was guided to give. Take advantage of it. There's no catch. Like, there's no catch. You know what I mean? After the 30 days are done, it's done. You know, there's no catch. Come and enjoy it. Allow yourself to release whatever you can easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably. Remember those words, write them down. Easy, effortless, and enjoyable. You can make a choice of how you release things. The same way you can make a choice of how you see things through your lenses. You can see it through anger and indifference, or you can see it through joy and bliss. Which one are you going to like to see, see like better? You can share that link with anyone. You can share the 
the website Body Soul Alignment with anyone. Okay. Um, as we collectively raise our own vibrations, like we're feeling better, like think about it. When you're in a room full of people that are really happy and you're maybe not feeling so happy, you become happy. You become lighter if you allow yourself. You could go the other way and get all mad and angry and pissed off and whatever, but then, you know, it just shows you, it's just in your face to show you what you aren't, right? So you can make a choice. You have a choice every second to feel better or not. It's an actual choice. You cannot fix anyone but yourself. Now, we can help each other on the way, you know, like hanging out, painting together, doing energy work together, loving each other. You know, that helps. But ultimately, any big changes that come in our lives, they have to be for us because we have our own free will, right? Sometimes sherry people don't know how to get out of it. They don't know anything different. And then also fear. You know, fear keeps people trapped. Some people don't like change. They, like, they'd rather be miserable and angry than what would their life look like if they were free? What would their life look like if they were free? Free. Free. I love you girls more than you know. You have no idea. So that's why I'm offering you the opportunity. There's no catch. There's nothing there. It's just the energy work for 30 days. Give it to yourself as a gift. Give it to yourself as a gift. As a gift. As a little Christmas gift to yourself. If you can't listen live, it doesn't matter. The energy work is there. And my intention is that anyone that listens to it receives it. So it will stay there. And it stays up. There's a different one live every single day, and they stay up for 24 hours, or 48 hours, I think. But so, like you can listen to today's, what's a lot better, Carla? I missed what's a lot better. I have to put my glasses on. What, what did you say is a lot better? Sherry, just the fact that you're seeking, something will shift, you know? You have conscious choice, conscious decision to, to make the choice to feel better. Sherry, we're all here for you. We are all here for you. We're here with you on this journey, you know. A lot of times anger and indifference comes from <coughs> being free is a lot better. <coughs> I agree with you, Carla. Sometimes anger and indifference can come from shielding yourself from abuse. But it's generally not anything that's in your field at the moment. It's generally stuff that's come from the past and you're holding on to it. It's crazy because we hold on to the negative things. Like sometimes I see a Santa Claus sack holding on to all the negative emotions or like you said this to me or you did that to me, right? But we don't necessarily hold on to the positive. Just keep working on you. Just keep working on you. As you work on you and you raise your energy and your energy and your vibration, you feel happier and you feel happier and you feel happier and you feel happy with you. Everything around you shifts. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Sherry. Something will shift for you, something big. But please take advantage, all of you, please. I can't, you know... After the 30 days, I'll then I'll explain to you like why I was guided to do it. and I don't want to get it caught up in the whys and the who's and the what's. But I'm just telling you now that you're aware and awake enough to come and craft with me. And you're aware and awake enough to sit through 10 minutes or 5 minutes of woo-woo or whatever it is that we do. I never time it, so sometimes I don't know. Anyway. 
then give yourself the gift and go over and sign up and experience 30 days of it. And you can listen to it in the morning. You can listen to it at night. You can listen to it is in the replay. You can listen to it live and then you can come back and listen to it in the replay. I don't know if I know what you're asking me. I don't know if I know what that is. I may very well. I don't know. <clears throat> All I know is that there's no coincidences. There's no mistake that we're all here together and that we're sharing painting papers and ridiculousness. And there's no coincidence that we're here having this discussion. It's all in divine order, divine timing, being in the flow. You know, I always, I like to f focus on being solution oriented rather than rehashing a problem. You know what I mean? So I know for a fact that if you put yourself in a space to feel better and you focus on that feeling and feeling better and feeling lighter and having more fun and more joy and more, you know, allowing that to happen, something, allowing something, um, something, something will shift for you. You know, Sheree, I don't know much about it, so I can't comment on it. All right, my lovelies. Know that I love you so, so much. And I will see you on Friday. I don't even know what we'll do on Friday. It's kind of like tapping. Okay. If it's working for you, do it. You know, whatever works for you. You know, I, I, you know we're all different. All a little different. All the same in many ways and all different. So if it works for you, do it. Go for it. Go for it. Maria, I agree with you. Just listening to a positive thought is great. I agree. I totally agree. You know, <clears throat> sometimes... Try this, Sherry. See if this works for you. So when I was a kid, I would have to learn these. I have dyslexia. I don't know if any of you guys have dyslexia, but anyway, I've had it my whole life. Of course, I didn't know it was dyslexia when I was a kid, but anyway, so I used to have to learn things differently. So I used to tape, like reading a book out loud, I would read it to myself on a, like an old cassette tape, and I would listen to it especially if I had tests and stuff like that, so that I'd remember it. And when I'd listen to it, especially in my own voice, it worked. What I realized at some point, it must have been about 14, is that if I told myself that I was beautiful or whatever it was, you know, if I repeated that in my own voice to myself, then... If I said that to myself, whatever it was I needed somebody else or I thought I needed someone else to say to me, if I said it to myself on that recording, on that tape, it manifested in my own voice. So I must have been about 14. <clears throat> I told myself I'm beautiful, I'm whatever it was. You know, I'm beautiful, I'm happy, I'm... Um, smart or and I listen to it over and over and over and over again and I used to and I used to sing these crazy I used to sing in a choir and sing all these solos and do all this stuff and you know it was like stuff that I would would be difficult for me to learn so I would sing all those things and I would tape them and then I would listen to that as well and I learned languages that way but the most positive thing that happened to me The most positive thing that happened to me was everything I'd say to myself, like if I said, I'm beautiful, 
that say, you're, I am beautiful, I am beautiful, I am fit, I am happy, I am content, whatever it was, right? Everyone around me would start saying that to me. You, you're so beautiful. You're just beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, wow, you're so content. You're so happy. So do you see, we're like a magnet for what we put into this database of our body, of our body personality. So try it. Record your voice saying things about yourself that you, that you need to hear. You're perfect just as you are. There's nothing you need to do, right? Whatever it is. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm happy. And listen to it over and over again. And see, something will shift because in your own voice, it works. Oh, Maria, that's awesome. I agree. Laughter, yes. You guys, I the most ridiculous things happen to me. Like the kind of stuff that you just want to roll on the floor and belly laugh. So I get it, Maria. I totally, absolutely get it. And I completely agree. Completely and absolutely agree with you. 100%. Sherry, definitely please go sign up. Please, please, please. It is all about releasing and letting go of old things that are no longer working for us. And if you do it, I can guarantee you, even if you sign up today and you do it for the next, um, today was day four, so tomorrow will be day five, so that'll give you 25 days. If you do, go back and listen to today's if you wanted to as well, and give you 26 days of energy work. It'll actually be a little bit longer than that because even though the last one will be on December 31st, it'll still be up for a couple of days after that. So something will shift for you and you can listen to it as often as you want. And it's just energy work, very little talking. I mean, I talk you through the meditation, but that's just really to keep your mind busy. Okay, my lovelies, know that I love you and I'm sending you, I'm focusing on you, sending you so much love. I'm sending you, as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. See you Friday, and I'll let you know what we're going to work on then. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you my purse. Hopefully, I'll be done with it by then. All right, love you guys. Love you, love you. See you Friday, okay? You can always catch me in our Facebook group. Okay, aloha.